the thing I'll say, Bill, if you go back, this safety is starting to cheat down a little bit pre-snap. Patrick Mahomes is going to see that. He's going to say, wait a minute, I think this nickel slot defender is probably blitzing. I'm going to get myself protected. Don't give Patrick that early indicator that, you know, this guy is blitzing right here because he's going to fix that protection. And if he gets it blocked up, Bill, as you know, there are holes in the defense if you block the blitz. They fooled the young quarterback here in this game, but that's not who they're playing on Monday night. They're playing the best quarterback in the league. They better be good with their pre-snap disguises. That's exactly right. They've got a disguise, disguise, disguise. Make it look like they're coming and drop out. Make it look like they're in coverage and come. Keep mixing it up. That's your only chance. And he's still going to get a lot of those right, but you've right. got to make it as hard for Patrick Mahomes as you can. If you make it easy, uh, he'll kill you. There's no That's question right. about that. All right, Bill, this is a classic Kubiak family outside zone run. Talk about kind of what this run game scheme does to a defense and what you have to do to stop it, especially when you're handing the ball off to Alvin, number 41 there in the backfield. Well, we'll look at the play first where Camaro takes a path and, and all the linemen come at the same path. And really, that's what we call zone blocking. Everybody's going in, in the same direction, basically with the same footwork. And then let the defense unfold. And the back really can go anywhere from outside to any of these cutback lanes across the board. Some backs are very good at reading that. Certainly, Camaro will be one of them. This is not the way to play it, though. There's just too much sideways running. So what will happen here is you'll see the defense will end up getting in stacked positions as opposed to being in gaps. And that's never a good thing. So here you have two guys behind each other here. That means there's space somewhere else. And so Bill, quarterback under center, what does that mean to the defense in this Kubiak system? Run and play action. And play action is normally some version of boot. Where's the quarterback? That's the number one key for uh, Kansas City. Where is the quarterback? When he's under, you got to stop the stretch and you have to stop play action and boot. There's very little drop back pass when a quarterback's under center. Well, I can tell you from experience, Peyton, Chris Jones in passing situations has a strong tendency to line up on the worst lineman. So whoever the worst offensive lineman is, that's where Steve likes to put him. It could be on the outside, it could be on the inside, it could be on the center. But whoever the weakest guy is, in his opinion, that's where he'll put Chris Jones a good amount of the time. you got to know where this guy is. He is a game wrecker. He is another guy that makes you have a conversation. I like players that make the other team's coaches have a long conversation during the week. What are we going to do to stop this guy? I can promise you there's a lot of talk down there, down in New Orleans, about what to do with Chris Jones. You get him with a slap rip or an over? Tell you what he's looking at.